Friday again, and we still don't know where your IT pros are. It's Patch and Switch. And yes, they are still the unofficial of official of unofficial. Here they are once again, Patch and Switch. Hey, hey, good, good morning, morning, everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how's that, how's that coffee? coffee? Good, good. <laughs> uh, uh, we've, we've got, got some, some echo, echo apparently. apparently. Uh, uh, which, which, which means, means which means we've, we've got, got progress. progress. We've, we've, we've got, got back, back to, to at least, at least having, having echo, echo problems. problems. Nice. Uh, back, in back in the old days. Old days. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What, what I, what I, I absolutely love, love is the fact that when you look at the stream, stream it, it says, says there's currently nobody watching. <laughs> love our, our little robot that says how many people we have. Zero, zero live people zero 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 watching. Yes, 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 we should. We should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Do, do we you have here. Echo? We are back. But are we, back? we have so Echo. I think we worked that off. No Echo for me, did. apparently. No no Echo for Rick, but it was just, just for Joey. me. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. I could fake it. Me, echo. me. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lovely. Hey, it's hey. 20 minutes after the top of the hour. Let's yeah. get the show started, shall we? Let's say hello to our friends. Who's in the room still? Who actually stayed through this uh, this this outage that we had? And yes, we are going to be upgrading to the GRS redundant blob in Azure, um, possibly yes. using some front door and or some kind of uh, um, gateway product that Microsoft and Azure sell. Okay, fair enough. We'll try um, that. You, you, you want to know what's funny? Our, our viewership actually grew when they couldn't hear us. <laughs> I like that they're, they're tuning in to see, can they figure it out? Can they get it working? No, I think they're just tuning in because they're like, finally, they've stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> that could be it. Who do we got in the chat room that's actually still around, out of curiosity? Uh, well, according <laughs> according to our bot, we have zero live viewers. But uh, we do have Aspen Forrester. We've got Kupka, Chicago Kupka, Kupka in the house. Commander Root, uh, DEF CON veteran who uh, comes to us from the Netherlands. Oh, wow. uh, please send Stroop waffles. Yes. Rick ate all of mine. <laughs> uh, foul temper in the PDX. Uh, full shovel. Uh, Jan is here wanting to patch and switch, and this is exactly why we don't patch or switch yeah, no things. Uh, the Madras in the house. Lurks in the house. Uh, our, our good friend, the shadiest, the pandas. Soren is around. Uh, Vizio MVP. Wired Canuck and Wireless Life. Uh, and I did not miss Izzy this time because Izzy is not in the chat. Nice. I saw Techilas was there briefly, and then she left to go back and continue working on something. So, good, good for you, Sarah. Good job. <laughs> Is she working? Unlike uh, Pierre and Anthony, who are still in the room. <laughs> so, they're probably sitting there saying, "Karma's a bitch." <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Breaking because... into their show last week. Yes, we did. And I don't know if you caught this, but on on AZ update, which is uh, Friday mornings U.S. time, I believe. Oh look, look. Let's see, see. They, they just. You see what? What? I set them up. I what? set them completely up for that. Yeah. What happened? I can't even see anything. I'm looking at you on the prompter. <laughs> yeah, it's because oh, nice. Pierre and Anthony. There's like little OBS things. And and see, here's the thing. <laughs> when when you allow the audio guy to do this stuff, that's how things break. <laughs> that's how things break. But you Could see, they're, they're just kind of zooming in and, and yeah. pointing up. Yeah. Because oh, nice. we didn't know that that was going to happen. Yeah. That's good. Uh, so and they, they say at you. least our show had audio. Yeah. Well, I was <laughs> going to promote their show. Yeah. Um, so that maybe they get. Uh, I won't go there. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bucka Guy J Flo, good to see you uh, in the room. Uh, hey, we're coming up. We're coming up on, on next week. We actually. Um, do you realize that today we would have actually woken up this morning in New Orleans? I know. We would have been doing this from our hotel rooms or in some hallway someplace trying to dodge security people, <clears throat> relying yeah. on the dodgy Wi-Fi of the conference to be able to try to pull off the show. 
It, yep. you know, maybe that was the simulation we were doing today. Oh, we were simulating the experience. Simulating you the experience had. of trying to do a remote show. Yeah. That could have been it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Though, the the downside is we won't be having those amazing sandwiches. Is it is it Mother's that's just down across the way? Do Mother's. You remember those? Um, yeah, the just down the road from the convention center in New Orleans, and the it's not in the French Quarter. It's in the convention center, no. walking towards the main street. Um, yeah. There is a phenomenal restaurant that does um, those poor boy sandwiches. Yeah, I love they, those they sandwiches. Dip in the, they dip in the all the juices and yeah, yeah. all the goodness. Yeah, we, all we goodness. totally. Yeah. In in honor of this, I'm going to go search out. Uh, I do believe there's a food truck around here in the Seattle side and the Redmond side called Where You At, Matt. You ever had that? Yeah, stuff? we do. We could get some some etouffee, uh, etouffee, and possibly some some poor boys shrimp. But shrimp poor boys are quite nice from that guy. So yeah. I'm going to search him out. I got to find out where he's at. Where you at, Matt? I got to find him. Now that I'm we'll talking about New Orleans, we could have beignets. We had he beignets. Has beignets. He's yes. got great I've beignets. done that. I can't eat beignets with the shirt though, because the the powder on the black. It's just <laughs> no, it goes everywhere, right? Down everything. Down yeah. on everything. Um, we would be having tonight is, uh, it is Friday and it would be the Friday night before ignite, which is generally the super secret Tiki with Ledwig, uh, visit that we have before the show starts. Don't talk about it, man. Oh, sorry. Tiki well, I, I mean, you now. know, it's not like it's not all over social media when we do it, but That's, it's true. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to, I mean, I'm definitely going to miss that. I'm definitely going to miss that. But that being said, I have breaking news. What's the breaking news, man? The patch and switch uh, people, the hosts, us, as I get uh, echo in my ear, but that's okay. Uh, we make will any be hosting sound stuff, just so you know, because <laughs> I enough. think it's working. <laughs> okay, we'll deal with the echo. Okay. Uh, we will be hosting. Can We're I say correct. this? Are we going to okay, wear shirts? Um, no logo I, shirts. I have to, we have to wear shirts. <laughs> we no shirts, no there. shoes, I'm just no like... mask, no service. So we have to wear <laughs> shirts. But are we going to wear our patch and switch shirts on the show? Yes. And not okay. only are we going to wear our patch and switch shirts, we may be debuting <gasps> a brand new set of patch and switch wear. But wow, I don't want to spoil it for everybody. So you'll have to tune in. Okay. So to be clear, we're hosting day two. That's right. Let's give them the right slot. So if you tune in on day one, which you absolutely need to at myignite.microsoft.com, make sure you're registered. Day one is not us. It's, it's not only us. Rick. It's no, I'm, I'm on for the afternoon shift and evening shift of day one with Donna Sarkar. But Ooh. the primetime spot is going to be um, Andrew Wilson and Kairawana uh, are going to be hosting. Yes. And I believe... There might be a fun little socials video coming out soon talking about the different hosts. Oh, very cool. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. Oh, very cool. Uh, but we will be uh, <laughs> the the chat room. Oh, snap. Patch and switch get upgraded to the premium SKU. Patch and switch E5. Uh, that's uh, Wednesday. Uh, I believe we start at 7 a.m. Yeah, I, I didn't confirm our start times, but yeah, it's something ungodly early like that. Uh, but so. we will be hosting the North America time zone of day two. Yes. I'm excited. That should be a lot of fun, man. Um, I, I did some pre-interviews this week, and there yeah. is going to be some really, really cool stuff I get to talk about. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that you gave me one of the interviews. Uh, because if you knew what we were talking about, you completely would not give it to me because it is so incredibly geeky. It's about space. That's all I can talk about. Oh, that one. It is so freaking cool, dude. My call that was supposed to be like 20 some minutes. I kind of like breakout room in Teams or something like that. No. Like, oh, space, okay. Now I'm upset. The final frontier. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously? These guys are so freaking cool. I Anyway, we've got we've got a bunch of stuff coming okay. um, that that is just going to be amazing on, on on day 2. So, please please come join us. Yeah. Um and then we will also probably be doing other things um, through our channels uh, randomly as the uh, event goes on. Um, there is the Discord uh, that we we the, that we have that, that, that your team has put together. Yep. 
Uh, that one there is working as far as I know. And yes. uh, we're planning on doing some fun stuff in there. Details on some tweets. Make sure you follow Patch and Switch on the Twitter. And also we'll do a Facebook post on it too. And also, did you know that uh, our friends here can participate? They can be mean? part of the program? Because we know our audience tablet. has all sorts of talent, right? And they can record a 30 second video, submit it in, and they're going to put it in this big montage that they'll, uh, well, or multiple montages that they'll be playing throughout the broadcast. So share your talents. Like, I want to see Ledwig making a tiki drink. Oh, that'd be good. He just got a crushed ice maker I saw on, on Twitter. Well, it looked like it came from circa 1972, but I mean, I would imagine well, it has that's to be authentic to the, the 60s tiki room, right? So I'm hoping it's a bit more fresh and clean than something he found in some trades used hand store <laughs> for crushed ice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, and uh, let's see. Lamandra says, thanks for setting up the Discord server. Nice to chat and hang out. But listen, submit your videos. 30 seconds. Being talented, doing the things that you do. I yep. I'm I don't do any talent, so I was I was gonna take some dog because my dogs are kind of talented. Riley's a they're, very they're, good retriever. He likes to bring things to you when you walk in the house. So I was gonna put my camera on top of him and then have him just bring me a toy. You know, might work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of dog videos, I understand. So oh, I mean, yeah. you'd fit right in. We were going to actually be able to um, respond to Holly and uh, Izzy's uh, TikTok uh, yeah. challenge. However, we were going to be able to do that next week. Right, in person. Uh, they're taking TikTok out of the out of the app stores, so we can't do that. Yeah, because we don't have an install yet. No. So I guess I guess our challenge has been um, quashed. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it. We'll move on. We'll move on. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's tough to do a tiki drink in 30 seconds. Well, uh, it's called stop time photography, right? Like speed it up <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. It doesn't have to be real. Yeah. Do you think anything does think that we do is real? <laughs> Right here. <laughs> no. This is not a secret bunker. It's not? No. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Phil, is Ignite online? Uh, yeah, yes, Phil, it is online. If you head on yes, over so to ignite.microsoft.com, it is free. Register now. The, uh, the the registration process gets you to the full access of everything inside of Microsoft Ignite. Uh, by not registering and just showing up on the page, you are able to see the shenanigans of what I call the hero player, which is us. <laughs> it's hard to believe we're in the hero player. Um, but the hero player is something that goes on 24-7 for two days and then continues on around the world and around the sun. You've got hosts in Redmond and then hosts that are going to be joining us for different interviews at different points in time. Nice. Uh, Wired Connect what? It's online. I just checked into my hotel in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a really hard time getting that travel expense reimbursed. I was about to say, like when you go to the travel portal at Microsoft, when you try to book travel, it actually this big pop-up comes up on the screen and basically says, <laughs> you must have corporate vice president approval to travel <laughs> are you sure you want to continue yes or no <laughs> <laughs> and like that's a pretty big expense report item <laughs> that you now have that, to be qualified for it Here, is we, it we, is we'll absolutely. talk about that <laughs> we'll talk it is absolutely um if you have been not paying attention to anything social media one last thing on ignite um we have been doing the unofficial end user guide to microsoft ignite and we have an entire blog post about all this stuff. So we've, we've got tons of stuff there. Head on over. Uh, again, aka.ms slash patchness, which is a place that you can go. We've got all the videos that we have done. And there's more coming. In fact, uh, we're going to have another special guest. We've already had two. So we had our friend Threddy. And then we had Anna Chu. You mentioned that 
Anna is extremely influential, apparently. This morning, there's something that you were, some announcement that, that you were telling me about. Um, it, now you got me in, in terms of a particular donut shop now carrying her yes, particular coffee. Yes, actually. Uh, we, had a, we had a good chat with her talking about Table Talks, um, those fantastic 32 sessions repeated across different time zones that are generated exclusively from her request about a month ago for topics the community wants to discuss. And they take place and they're inside the schedule and you can go off and, and participate in them. That's the, the Teams live meeting where you can actually turn your camera on, turn on the microphone like you're having a conversation at a very large table. Um, we did a special episode which hasn't aired yet. It's actually airing a little bit later on where we talked to her about her coffee choices. And I found it interesting because I noticed in passing in one of the Ignite core team meetings at the very, very beginning about stuff, we were talking about the pandemic and talking about lockdown. Um, she has switched away from using regular milk and she uses oat milk and and she's concerned about trying to find the right type of oat milk that actually frosts correctly for her lattes. But anyway, she finally managed to find the right version of oat milk and she's been making oat milk stuff successfully. But online, a Twitter ad, because Twitter ads are always true and accurate, um, <laughs> it turns out that Dunkin Donuts now has oat milk lattes. So apparently she is an influencer without even realizing she can influence a massive chain across all of the U.S. She is so fr she is so far ahead of the curve. Uh, yeah. Surprised that she even talks to us. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's the best part, though, right? She does talk to us. Yeah, nice that's absolutely true. That's she, was, absolutely she, was having, true. she was having a question earlier this week talking about Wi-Fi woes. And, you know, oh. you and I have been doing a lot of interviews and chatting with people all across yeah. Microsoft and across the world and stuff like that about Microsoft Ignite. And um, it's interesting to see that, you know, even even we have gone in and we absolutely have wired connections for all that we do. And it is like absolutely yes. the number one recommendation that I make to every single person that's working remotely. If you don't have a wired in the room that you're in, go buy a 300 foot cable, like do whatever you need to do just to get yeah. a physical cable into your room because it'll make so much difference regardless of what kind of stuff you got going on in your wireless yeah. world at the house. And so Anna is one of those people that unfortunately she lives on like the third floor of a like a probably an older townhouse or something like that. And the the gateway and the, the cable modem and stuff that give her internet for the house is on the first floor. So she's like, I can't get a cable up here. Can't do it. And I'm like, I know someone with a thousand foot cable box and crimpers that can come and visit you. And then she said, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she does not trust my wire crimping capabilities to make this work. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you know, I was just thinking, she probably has Windows. She, well, I'm pretty sure she's a Windows user. She's not a Mac user. No, 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 Windows on the house. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So we could get, we could get like the ten, a tennis ball, maybe a crossbow. Yeah. And shoot it across the uh, and, and grenade. out from, from the first floor. No, it's, it'd be easy if you dropped it down. If you shoot it up, that is just asking for trouble, especially if I am one firing the crossbow bolt. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. It's a lot safer to have you getting up on a roof and then running cable down. That, no, you wouldn't want that either. But I could also <laughs> picture you shooting upwards at me and then I would catch it probably like in the side of the head. Um, yeah, go ahead, Joey. I'm safe. <laughs> uh Lamandra says yep i ran a good 30 40 foot cable around the kitchen to the counter which has been my office since the pandemic oh yeah so wired is the thing to go uh wireless life are you sure you want to arm rick's or cdn with a crossbow i did not say that rick would have the crossbow yeah it was just a suggestion of using the crossbow we still um, are trying to recover you... from the tech ed incident of the t-shirt gun uh, Aspen says, I keep telling my co-workers Wi-Fi is for chumps. Do you think you could attach a cable on a drone and fly it up? That'd be a pretty big drone. Because, you know, the, the cable length gets longer, the cable gets heavier, right? Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. But again, this is, if anyone wants to loan us a thousand dollar drone, we will experiment <laughs> and try this out to see just how far up we can tether a cable to be able to make this work. 100%. At least you get one of those big ones that, uh, that Amazon's going to be using for delivery. That could work to uh, haul a cable up. I'm pretty Buck sure. Buckeye Guy Jayflow has a brilliant idea. Pull it with fishing line. Well, where's fishing the fun line? in that? Yeah, it's like, well, do we take the hook off or do I? <laughs> <It's> like, Joey! <laughs> <laughs> 
And like Joey's like, ah, Rick, stop. Uh, <laughs> Phil Stop get a helicopter while you're at it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Helicopter gonna work. Uh the shade is to panda says, this is going to end up like those robots we don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we are still not allowed to talk about the robots. No, I know. I know. I still have a dispute with Amex on that one. <laughs> Thank you. Look, it's way. not our fault that somebody took it on the damn escalator. Okay. I know. Uh, it's just uh, crazy. Craziness. Uh, hey, should we get started with the show? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, this is the abbreviated show. We're completely off script. My prompter is all out of sync. I don't know what to say anymore. So, why don't we? What, you just the, keep the next section. Like the. The camera just keeps going like really wide. <laughs> I have no idea. And I don't know what's going on. Teams is just having some fun. Teams is having. Uh, a this be wanting to know what kind of fly we use on our fishing line. Yeah, um, <laughs> we don't use bugs. No. We don't like bugs. Hey, so the first segment of the program is always uh, from the trenches. The things that we do in our day jobs, or at this point in time, the things that we're not doing in our, right. our day jobs. Uh, what have you been working on? What's 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 so, new in the realm of, of of your world? I have been doing all things Ignite, like getting ready for Ignite. I'm literally going through and editing videos, uh, using Adobe Premiere, using Camtasia for screen captures, um, coaching my friends and family and my co colleagues and coworkers to be able to go off and to capture videos for Ignite little short vignettes and fun things uh, across mm -hmm. the board. Working with you to be able to do some uh, across the wire as well. And so my whole life has basically been Ignite. And so <clears throat> I had a one-on-one -on -one with my manager, the illustrious Mr. Donovan Brown. Uh, I like Donovan Brown. Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps. Uh, what, what was the thing you used to say all the time? Rub a little DevOps on it, I think it was. That's what you used to say all the time. Let's love, rub a little DevOps on it. Um, does he say? Does he say that? Like when somebody like is on a skateboard, falls down, skins their knee, just just put a little DevOps on that. Uh, if for we were having a rewards conversation, we were talking about my slidey bar, and he's like, you know what? We need to rub some DevOps on that. So, <laughs> and like what? <laughs> I don't do software deployments. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he was he was basically saying like last week or the week before. He's like, okay, Rick, I'm going to give you something, and I'm like, what? He's like, I'm going to give you something very important. And he gave me a little picture, a graphic that he made, and it says, um, free pass, Microsoft Ignite. And he's like, you can use this card whenever you need to, from now until Ignite. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would ask the, the, the leadership team to go off and do different things, and you know, for the regular day job that we have to do. Uh, and then whenever I was busy, I could just simply send a copy of that card to him. And he's like, oh, okay, no problem, I understand. <laughs> So, except for one time, he actually did say, nope, sorry. <laughs> if you didn't read the terms and services <laughs> and the end user license agreement, uh, there's a section oh. that specifically says, when I say the following, you do not have the ability to use that card. So one time I had to go off and do that. I wish I had that. I don't. <laughs> I think everybody no. needs to have a have an exclusionary card. I, 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 I wish we could. Uh, it, it seems in my world, uh, well, apart from me, that <clears throat> because we're all here, yeah. Uh, in virtual, we're not we're not all heading heading to a location. Um, people have kind of, uh, unless they're directly involved with a session or something, uh, it's business as usual, and yeah. you know, there's not a lot of prep for them because normally we'd be sending you know 30, 40 people down to to answer all of the questions, and th that's still happening, right? We still have all the ask the experts to things, but they're not having to do anything. So. Um, I have just been hardly working. I mean, hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, nice. Actually, been working on some really cool stuff. Um, learning more and more about the federal space and our partners that play there. So okay. I spent a lot of time on some a lot of meetings this week, <clears throat> learning some of that. So uh, just just ramping up some some skills there and uh, learning learning some knowledge on some of those federal standards around identity, which uh, a lot of reading. I've been I've been doing a lot of reading or dozing off because some of these documents are, are yeah, sick? they're they're better. They're better than a sleeping pill. But nice. I figured if I doze off and making sure that the, the document is right where my head would land so is that it, osmosis being yeah, right well, on in. And also you don't want to have those keyboard uh, ASDF uh, imprinted on your forehead when you land. No, that, that, that it takes like days to get that yeah. the, the ASD off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. 
Uh, Lamandra, it's the national cloud. No, it is not actually the national cloud. This is actually just working with them in normal cloud. Uh, we haven't gotten over to the the, the other the government the clouds, clouds the, uh, yeah. all of that yet. Yeah. It's actually one thing that's interesting is that well, I didn't realize this when I was doing some reading on the JEDI contract. The JEDI contract is the contract that Microsoft won that the Department of Defense in the news was was awarding to to whoever that competed that came down to AWS and us, that sort of stuff. We can't comment anymore about that, I'm sure, because lawyers will start coming around us. But anyway, um, one thing I learned from that is actually that every single region within uh, the Azure public space adheres to a certain level of um, capabilities that actually meets the minimum bar requirements for a lot of the workloads that are inside the public sector space. And then obviously, we have the private government cloud that you that you talked about um, that is designed for an even higher level yeah. <clears throat> because there's a bunch of different attestations that has to go through. But mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we do that is interesting, it's different than the other cloud vendors is for the public space, when we achieve one extra level of attestation or certification or whatever it happens to be, we make sure that all of our regions adhere to it. So that way it makes it easy for customers to go off and use. So cool stuff. It's fun facts that you may not know about Azure. Yeah, fun facts with Rick Glasser. C. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, uh, second uh, second part of the show is uh, we're going to talk a little bit of beer money, and these are the this is the the support that we do for our friends, our families, our families, friends, sisters, uncles, cats, dogs, cousin, or friends, or good friends. So I've, I've I've got a good friend story that I just did recently. Okay. It's topical because uh, this is about using Teams in collaboration. Um, Did you rub a little DevOps on it? There's no DevOps involved. Thank you. Well, um, you said it was topical, I, so I was just asking if you just rubbed a little. But, see, I, I don't have access to the little DevOps uh, salve. I don't have access to that. Um, oh, you don't? Only, only the man in the black shirt has that. Uh, it's like a superpower. He keeps it on his belt. He has he has a little container on his belt <laughs> that he uses. It, I wonder though, is it is it locally sourced artisanal it, uh, DevOps sap? Only the finest of soy DevOps <laughs> is available. <laughs> I guess um, the uh, the I'm so glad he doesn't watch this show. <laughs> is all I can say. <laughs> I'm sure someone's probably clipping this and saving it to send it to them. Um, probably. What, what am I talking? What are we talking about? Oh, yes. What was I doing? Yes. Um, uh, I was helping out. <laughs> I was helping out a local teacher um, here who's been working with teams. Uh, she's a friend of mine, and I've been providing her with some tech support. And uh, she works with, um, obviously, uh, actually, I want to say middle school kids. And it's about as much information as I can share so you don't know exactly where she's at and that sort of stuff. But, And so she has, let's say, 60 kids workload that she goes throughout the day that she's working with. And she's been trying to figure out how to do more interactive and engaging presentations. And all the teachers all got some level of training on how to use Teams, how to present and that sort of stuff uh, because they had to obviously switch to this crazy and massively different world and trying to keep people connected and entertained and stuff like that while also teaching them. And uh, she was having a problem where she was trying to take a PowerPoint file and drop and dra drag and drop it inside of a OneNote file. Inside the OneNote file, it actually is supposed to show up as a um, like a preview mode, almost like you're in like a player uh, right. to be able to go off into work. And it wasn't doing that. It was actually giving her a login prompt for SharePoint or something like that. It was really, really strange. And it was she's trying to minimize the amount of different things the student has to do to launch something because it just adds the complexity. Uh, so after trying to screw around with that for about half an hour or so, finally I just said, hey, have you ever tried Sway? Remember those? Sways? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, what's Sway? And I'm like, oh, hey, hang on a second. Go to sway.office.com and then check that out. She's like, okay, so I'm here and I'm, she's sharing her screen. I'm like, okay, try this. Make a new Sway and import that PowerPoint you're trying to work with. And I'm, she's like, okay, we'll try that out. It took like five minutes to import it because it was some ginormous PowerPoint that she just tried. But it, it completely worked. And it turned the PowerPoint into uh, the same information, nicely rendered, strictly in just side of a web browser, which then allowed them to go in and to embed that correctly uh, on the system. And so Sway still very much works. And uh, she didn't realize that it was available to her to be able to do stuff. And you can take existing PowerPoints to bring it in, or you can go in and you can actually use um, 
uh, brand new uh, Sways to be able to go off and do stuff. Um, the only reason why I know about Sway is because one time, ages ago, I used it as a way of explaining what I did at a conference. Uh, because I had a bunch of pictures <laughs> at the conference, I had some blog posts in there, had some tweets and stuff yeah. like that. So I made a really cool sway that I could just send in that you know trip report email. Uh, I did that for yeah. uh, for a conference, which was quite good. Very cool. That's super cool. I, I had no idea that you could that you could do that, and mm -hmm. that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, my beer money support uh, is around the college students' laptop. Oh, yes. How's that going for? Uh, well, so to reduce the support requests, uh, I had enabled automatic updates and an update. Was, wait, wait, had wait, wait, stop, stop. I you know. see what happened I know. this morning. <laughs> yes, I yes. Uh huh. Go ahead. Continue. Yep. Um, <laughs> there were a lot of audio problems. I didn't have audio this morning when I was when yeah. I started whole other story. I had to do my own support. Um, but uh, so the update came down and then all of a sudden it sounded like her built in speakers uh, were that that only the highest end on the tweeter on the left hand side was working. And wow. I'm like, this makes no sense that it would just completely die. I go, but you know, I mean, it's hardware. Things can go bad. So I'm yeah. doing all the tricks. I'm doing all the tests. I'm in device manager. I'm removing it. I'm re-adding it. I'm updating drivers. Nothing. I'm like, well, it sounds like we might need to 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 open a support case on this. Yeah, support call. Um, and uh, HP has their little support assistant down there. And I'm like, well, let's just try that. And I open it up. And up okay. in the upper right hand corner, it says, You're are you having with audio Sally. problems? <laughs> no, I wasn't chatting with anyone. It just yeah. the little supporter says it says, "Are you having audio problems?" And I'm like, "Sure." You know, and, and you know me, I've done all the things that it's going to do, right? I yeah. think. So I click the thing and then we've removed the device that was causing the problem. Test here. And I click test and it all works. Did it, did it tell you what it was? And so I go into device manager and I notice where there used to be two audio devices, now there's just the one. Oh uh, yeah. So apparently what it, what it ended up being is that because this has a discrete uh, graphics card on there, uh, it somehow changed or modified something where it wanted to use the audio device it discovered on the discrete graphics card versus the internal sound device that was there. Um, and you know that discrete graphics, uh, audio piece f showed up in device manager, but it never showed up in the mixer or any of that stuff, right? So I just thought, oh, it's just one of those devices that it's Windows is going to see. Um, and then after running the, the assistant, everything works great, and that device is now gone. So that's hilarious. Yeah. Who would have thought that you have been replaced with a bot? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought it would have taken this long? I know, eh? <laughs> So what, what, similar in vain to that with tech support for your kids as they're here uh, doing remote learning in, in homes to stay safe in this lovely world that we live in, uh, now implemented a two-tier strategy. So I am now officially level two support. Kelly, oh? my phenomenal life partner, wife, and soulmate, has volunteered to be tier one tech support. Ooh. Either that or the kids have automatically made her level one because they don't want to deal with cranky dad. <laughs> <laughs> so she is now level one tech support. And okay. whenever they come directly to me, I'm like, do you have the escalation ticket from your mother? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which means it's, they've gone through the initial. Have you have you yeah. restarted? Have you? OK, but uh, she's the, the hilarious part is, is that she's actually, you know, she's been working in technology about as long as I have. Uh, and yep. she's taking care of a lot of the stuff that, uh, that's just there. So I, I think it also probably has to do because I have one of those um, uh, Bravo, uh, M -M Bravo status lights uh, outside the door and it flashes yeah. red. And basically if it's red or if it flashes red, uh, that means don't come in the bedroom because the, the um, home office is off of the bedroom and it has... Right. Uh, indicated that I'm in a meeting or I'm actually on a call when it's going on. Uh, and so maybe it just happens that it's, it's been read too long. So they get their tech support. It works. And no, fair enough. I think I think we're all kind of doing it. Um, yeah. I see it, in the chat. 
uh why are critic you are no help at all of course yeah. uh oh apparently we if we want to become famous we can buy followers oh wow look at that yeah I, is that a bot yeah. are we yeah, actually have our very first it. bot apparently inside have, of our chat stream yeah apparently we're 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 good enough to wow that's hilarious we're, we're good enough to get a bot yeah <laughs> um that is awesome Let's we see. have achieved uh, a new level of fame yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let's see. So that's that's beer money. Yeah. Uh, what's up? What's up next? Up up next is normally talk about beer talk. If we make it any beer, and I do have a section on beer talk. I want to be able to chat with you about. Uh, well, let's we, do some beer talk. Well, we have an urgent need. Um, there is no more Manny's from Georgetown in the vicinity. That is correct. And so we have to organize ourselves and do a convoy down to Georgetown Brewing, uh, down in Soho District in, in Seattle, and pick up another keg because we are out. officially blew my keg oh. the other day. Yours is blown too, so mine is gone. Yeah, that yeah. was that was really sad because I was really looking forward to a pint, and you know what happened? The last pint, what? because it's unfiltered. Yeah, it really it was had not, all the bottom yeah. stuff at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't drinkable, unfortunately. Um, I, I, you know, speaking of beer talk, uh, <laughs> hang on, Mr. TJ12, who is not Mr. TJ11, because that's a totally different person, wants to know, who does Rickster CDN go to for tech support? <laughs> actually, um, I think Mr. TJ12 actually knows this guy. Um, he, he's the guy that represents- and You're supposed to say me. No, no, I go to Wired, I go to Wired Jeep. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're my first level. You, you're my first level. Wired Jeep. I usually like, end up fixing everything well, for you. Why? Wired Jeep is my level three. <laughs> uh, is it because he's he's instead of being less than a mile from you, he's just across the street? Just just across the the uh, the uh, roundabout that, that's over here. Yeah. So yeah. Wired Jeep. Wired Jeep is my level three tech support. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we've timed out the bot instead of banning them. Nice. <laughs> Just I because we want to make sure that people know that we're, we're big enough. Famous. famous. Yeah. Every show will bring yeah. back the bot so people can see that we, uh, we're famous enough to have a bot in our chat room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I actually, speaking of, of, of the Manny's keg, remember how we thought that my regulator may have had a leak? Yeah. With my CO2? Mm -hmm. When uh, that uh, when that keg died, I disconnected everything, and no more leak. So is it a keg problem? I think we have a keg problem. Oh, that's yeah. an easy fix. That's just yeah. some new O rings and pressure testing and yeah. all that. Yeah, I think I think we need to just double check it on that keg because that would make sense, right? Because I went through everything was working, and then all of a yeah. sudden it, yeah. Uh, so it, uh, I, I I do have a spare. I do have a spare regulator just in case. Just but in case think, it happens to go down. Yeah, but I, I think we're good there. So yes, um, maybe this afternoon. I don't know. We'll have to look at the schedule. Um, have to look at the schedule. Because I can tell you, we are going to have some very long days coming up this weekend. Oh and yeah. Coming home after that and a fresh pint. Having a pint yeah. is the way to do it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Way to do it. Absolutely. Uh, I like that. Uh, Lamandra says unattended bots will be given an espresso and a free kitten. <laughs> what? You, you want know, to apparently we treat our bots better bot? than we treat our, our, our viewers. That's I fantastic. Know, right? We force uh, our viewers to like listen in silence as we're trying to work something out. Uh, yeah, so absolutely. That's fun. Absolutely. Uh, next segment of the show, uh, random spending. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Whew. This is the random spending season, <laughs> if you know Microsoft. It I, is I, random is, spending season. Am I not? Am I not like totally bang on with this or what? No, you completely are. I have random spent. Have you random spent? I I have multiple thousands random spent as oh, always. I haven't, I haven't gone that big yet, but so okay. Let let, let me cover mine because mine's really simple. I actually okay. got a new uh, little um, monitor that sits yep. underneath um, where my camera is, so that I can actually see the faces of the people who I'm speaking with. So instead of right. just staring into a blank camera, now I get to see your face and others. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little Raspberry Pi monitor, 1080, 1080p monitor, 10 inch, fantastic. 
love this little device. Um, and so that was my random spend, along with um, a little bit of ear, 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 earbud oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. action for for the broadcast. What about you? What have What have you been random spending? Well, well similar to you, I got I got one of those little in ear monitors too. Um, yeah. Those those are quite nice to be able to have the ability to hear what's going on when the audio is working. Uh, to be able to hear things or not giving you seven echoes, uh, things like that. Right now it's good, so don't change anything. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Okay, um, I'll, I'll leave it. But but uh, I'm random spending actually on my Jeep right now. So, oh, uh, I've well, wait. I've. Is it what? your Jeep? It's still mine. Uh, I never see you drive it. But the kids Every are always driving it. Every time I see Jeep out and about, it's like this big it's hairy mine. dude. Yeah, no, so the big hairy dude, otherwise looking like Teen Wolf. Uh, is that's my son Mac. Um, it's the only time I ever got on a Mac for Christmas was Mac, and uh, he uh, <laughs> he he uh, he and I and, and everybody else that's been helping out. Um, we are getting new tires for the Jeep. Um, they have not arrived yet, but I'm getting new tires uh, to help people get in and out of the Jeep because of said new larger tires. Uh, I have installed the auto lowering side rails on the Jeep that when you open up the door that comes down. Oh. You do not know how many times I've taken out my freaking shins on those damn things because I forget that you open up the door and this thing juts out towards you, <laughs> smacks me in the shins. <laughs> I'm like, what? Ah, damn it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very simple surprised. sensor. Of course, you're not surprised. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So those have been handy uh, and very nice. So those those have gone on. Uh, plus, I've also upgraded my seats uh, as well. So I now have upgraded seats in the Jeep as well. I went for some nice uh, off-roading Corbeaux. Uh, Corbeau. Um, and that involved, um, so this technology-wise, technology-wise, I had to disassemble the previous seat to be able to remove the airbag weight sensor that triggers whether or not the airbag should be turned on or off. It's this little filament that looks like an H that basically detects if your butt's on the chair uh, and then has the sensor which comes down through the foam and then plugs into the connector at the bottom. So I had to re-engineer removing that from the old seat without breaking it and installing it in the new seat without ruining it and then being able to plug it in. It so how worked. much does a new one of those cost? Uh, because I figured you'd know. No, no. Yeah. They, they, they actually don't sell it. They only sell you another set of whole Jeep seats if you wanted to have the one fixed. Okay, so I'd imagine that you had to buy a new set of Jeep seats. No, not yet. Um, the, so far, the lights stayed on. Everything is good. Uh, we All systems are oh. go. We have passed the test. However, ah. the next day after doing the install, um, I had a problem with uh, the Jeep not wanting to start. Um, for some random reason, the and it wasn't because we kept on playing with the things upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, and burning out the, the battery. Uh, it's not the battery. It actually was just a weirdly coinciding time of my starter dying. So we oh, had to okay. go off and find and install a new starter as well. I have a question. Do sure, you think man. I really need to attend this tech check that I'm supposed to for this Ignite interview, considering is, that I'm going to be in the studio? Am I is good? Is there a tech Skipping check that's it? going on? Uh, well, for me. Who, who's it with? Alex. Uh, you're supposed to be there because he's supposed to be there. Does that All mean right. you have to wrap so up the show? We've got to. We've got to wrap up the show. Oh, no. uh, we've got three work safe words. Uh, let's see. Uh, TE cable guy uh, duo. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go O ring and regulator. Yeah. That works. So that's what we're going to go with duo, O ring, and regulator. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Silence, O ring, yeah. regulator. Yeah. yeah. Let's do Are we that. even able to get let's the band to play or say, say, say goodbye to people? Or is that like not even possible? We should try I'm something. not sure. Uh, go Joe Stump asks, uh, do you, how do you know if it works if you didn't test the airbag? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Tune in next hey, week. Uh, with the band playing, that means we've come to the end of another exciting episode of the Patch and Switch program. I uh, want to say thank you to another TV viewer, Aspen Forrester, A10, Chicago Kafka, Commander Root, Jeff Con Veteran, and Suzito Exchange SME, Final Temper PDX, Joe Stumble, Jan in the house, A. McFerrin, uh, Kosher Coder, 2001. Ooh, look at that. Great to see you. Uh, Lou Madras works. Uh, Anning Wilkins. Didn't see it always. Welcome. Mr. TJ 12, which is not Mr. TJ 11. That's something totally different. Uh, Renestino. Uh, Rewario, welcome. Uh, Lake Lake, who you will hopefully see taking uh, 
his craft cocktails uh, drinking night video. The Shadiest of Pandas, Tiki Cable Guy, Funko Pro, Fizzy MVP, all of the wired, Canuck, Jeep, and CDN, wireless at CDN. Thanks for joining us. We will see you Tuesday, or sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, during the Microsoft Ignite live broadcast, register myignite.microsoft.com. We'll see you soon. Hey, did you see that Dunkin' Donuts now has oat milk lattes?